beauty pageant season na naman. And for those of you who are interested in joining beauty pageants, you have to know that everyday makeup is very different from pageant makeup. Learn how to do pageant makeup while we chat with Miss World Philippines, Tracy Perez. Pageant makeup is usually more intense and can either complement a look or make a mess out of your overall aesthetic. Always consider stage lighting and flash photography to ensure your makeup will help you bring home the crown you dream of. So for today, I would like to make Tracy's skin uh, two-tone darker. So today, I'm using Pro Filter Soft Foundation from Fenty Beauty in the number of 300. And then, this is actually a good technique for those of you, especially stress sa panahon na ngayon, or if you are always stay at home, when your skin become pale, lumulutang lalo yung mga eye bags. So basically, by making your skin tone a little bit darker, it gives you an instant glow. For the foundation, it's up to you. What would you rather have? Full coverage or a sheer coverage or even a tinted moisturizer? As long as it's comfortable on your skin, and abut sa bulsa natin. Slowly tap on your skin and never rub, especially when you use a sponge because we don't want to give extra pressure which might develop new lines on the face. So, alagay natin yung skin natin and at the same time, if you can go the application downwards to follow the hair direction of the facial hair so the facial hair will not block the pores. Tingnan natin yung pores natin, yung direction ng hair natin always pababa, no? So we don't want the hair to block the pores to be covered by the foundation kasi gusto natin syempre flawless, poreless. Experts in the industry say pageant makeup is perfecting the candidate's beauty through proper techniques and product application. And I couldn't agree more. Ang pageant makeup ay para mas gumanda pa ang candidate kapag natamaan ng ilaw, malayo, or malapit man sa stage. For those of you who use a cream like I'm doing now, this is just an example, you are okay to use for it a cream as long as the philosophy or the main rule is to set with powder afterward. So as I'm using now a multiple stick from NARS in Orgasm, Just tap a little bit and bring it upward. But at the same time, it gives you a powder finish. And likewise, the same thing also with highlighter. So right now, I'm going to use NARS Multiple Stick also in Copacabana. Put a little bit on the highest point of your skin or on your face to bounce certain glow. A little bit on top of the brow, lower of the brow bone. This is my favorite secret to make sure to give the effect of parang bagong liku freshness. And when you're done with the cream products, anything cream here in humid country or Asia, we try to set it with powder so it will last longer. So another trick for us to make your makeup last really long is to not be so stingy with loose powder because loose powder in fact the one helping us setting the makeup really long even if you're oily or even if you're at a situation uh, your skin pH level is not balanced so for loose powder I'm going to use from Huda Beauty and basically I'm going to tap extra amount of powder on a certain area that our face skin move more frequent than the others. So basically, under the eyes, side of the nose, surrounding of the lips. There you go. When you apply the loose powder, make sure you tap your skin, touch, and anything sticky, meaning kulang pa yung loose powder so for a finishing touch up before we move on to the eyes or the eyebrow I'm going to use my favorite 
powder foundation, which is from Makeup Forever, in number 415. Because as I mentioned, that I want to make her skin a little bit... There you go. Look at how glowing she is. Parang newly crowned. And for the powder blush on, I'm going this big blush on from Beacon. I'm going to put it a little bit higher than the cheekbone to give the illusion that her face a little bit lifted and para mukang enough yung tulog niya kagabi kahit kulang kayo sa tulog so for the blush I would like to give a little bit intense on the a little bit more blush on the apple of the cheek using Tevian blush in rosette there you go and from the apple part of the cheek and then bring towards the ears para mas mukang internal glow. I'm using Sculpt to Bronze Palette from Tevian in Mohroko. I'm gonna put it a little bit on the cheekbone and then bring it upward to the temple of the face to have the illusion that her face smaller and then a little bit behind the ears and bring it to the jawline there you go if you notice that I'm applying sponge or beauty blender to apply all my powder because this is a good way to achieve a more natural looking of pigment application any pigment guys and at the same time, hindi kayo mapagot maghugas ng brush. So, somehow, we preserve water. Kasi isang bagay lang ihugas nyo. Contouring adds dimension to your face so you won't look flat kapag nataman ng ilaw. Remember, lift and pop. Lift to look young and fresh. Pop to define your natural features. And for the highlights, to add additional glow, I'm going to use Florid lower pan only which is the glass skin powder at the outer corner of the eyes lower part or under the brow bones bridge of the nose tip of the nose cupid bow and chin and of course the other side of the face also for the brows a separate video tutorial is available in the previous episode so check nyo na so for Tracy's eyes I can consider her eyes a little bit semi hooded so I'm going to cover the entire eyelid with burgundy color from Tevian Senorita in Sangria Because if you join a beauty pageant, when you're on stage, there's so many yellow lights and you want to avoid using a really warm eyeshadow color because warm color hit by a warm light, kinakain ng ilaw yung pigment. So I'm going to use a little bit on the purple side or burgundy. So kahit tinamaan ng yellow light, there's a reddish undertone left behind. To avoid looking washed out by stage lights, use the cool tones for eyeshadow and then for transition color I'm going to use a chocolate type of brown mixed with a little bit of mid tone of brown so which is Papi and Mialma from the Senorita palette so I'm going to put it on the lash line and just smudge it you don't have to worry about being so neat or being so straight because we're gonna blend it anyway and I'm going to extend the eyes and then a little bit on the outer corner of the eyes to fit. Open. And this is the time I'm going to blend it 
I'm gonna use a small blending brush to blend all the two colors together. I'm going to use a flat brush to rim out the lower part of the eyes. And I'm going to use Sangria again and mix with a little bit of Fantasia, which is a warm copper color. And I'm gonna use it as a transition color. So we blend in around the edges of the eyelid to soften out the edges by introducing another softer color. So to build the more intensity, I'm gonna use Sangria again to retouch the eyelid. Pageant makeup has more layers, thus it looks and feels heavier. That is why it's always advisable to choose products that are lightweight. So we're gonna introduce a Tevian pencil liner. Um, this is already sold out, but guess what? We have good news. So every purchase in Tevian Lazada and Shopee, meron kami dyan yung bundle kasama ng Tevian pencil liner. So for those of you ask, what is the right way to apply a pencil liner? So kung medyo yung pencil liner nyo sa bahay is waterproof, make sure you tasa, you sharpen the pencil every time you're gonna use it because most of the time, anything waterproof, they are actually air sensitive. Another trick for a hooded eyes queen out there. So, to change the focal point, para hindi masyadah lata yung hooded eyes kayo or downturn eyes, you try to focus on the lower lash line so that everything will be focused on the other side of your eyes instead of the upper part. The more you concentrate on the upper part, the more it will be obvious that you have a downturn eyes. So, to make the eyes a little bit more defined, I'm going to use a liquid liner. This is Virago. So, for any downturn eyes out there, the secret is to do your eyeliner while your eyes look straight. And then you can start on the outer part and do the length that you want to achieve. And then, bring it inward. So, parang siya, triangle. And that's it. Okay, to make everything softer and more cohesive, I'm going to put a deeper color on the crease to connect the eyeshadow to the tail of the liquid liner. Open. To highlight the eyes, I'm going to introduce the color from Tevian Horus palette in stiletto. In the mid section of the eyelid, I'm going to use soft purple glittery pigment in Nightingale. Thicker eyelashes will also make your eyes stand out on stage, but you have to be careful to pick the right ones because you don't want to create shadow. Use as much proof and waterproof mascara and falsies for added length and volume that will instantly open up the eyelids. And in the bridge of the nose, I'm going to use a straw. Remember, it is not only the crown that will make you a beauty queen, but your heart and character as a person. Stay safe and gorgeous!